This is Malika Hook from the University of Colorado, and the case today is titled, What is Going On Here? This image was taken from a 47-year-old male with tennis ball injury to the eye two months ago. He was seen by several eye care professionals for episodic blurry vision. He was told that he had, quote-unquote, an irregular iris and early cataract formation. On presentation, he states that he is currently having an episode of blurry vision, but was quote unquote fine when he woke up and drove in for the visit this morning. You can see here from the image that the pupil is distorted towards the infratemporal quadrant. And my plan at this point was to do gonioscopy to see exactly what was happening in the angle, fully expecting that there would be injury to the iris along with the possibility of a ciliary body cleft. However, on slit lamp exam, I was able to see something that I had not seen before in my career. As you look closely at the angle, you can see that essentially there's a waterfall of bleeding from the superior aspect of the angle on the temporal side to the inferior aspect. And I was quite surprised. I had not seen something like this before, especially in an eye that didn't appear to have a layered hyphema. After looking at the subsequent slides in this talk, you might want to come back to this video and take a closer look at exactly what you're seeing here. I was eventually able to do gonioscopy, and this is where the mystery was solved after some time. Essentially what was happening here was the iris was plugging a ciliary body cleft, and there was a torn iris vessel just superior to the cleft. The aspect that was, in my opinion, incredibly unique and something I had not seen before was that the iris was only episodically plugging the cleft. If the iris was inside of the cleft, the injured vessel stopped bleeding. It was essentially compressed. When the iris came out of the cleft, that left the vessel free to bleed with that picture that you saw in the previous video. This, of course, is what resulted in the episodic blurry vision when the injured vessel would bleed, a microhyphema would form with most of the blood actually going into the cleft and not forming a layered hyphema. And this would, of course, cause blurry vision. Once the iris would plug the ciliary body cleft, the bleeding would stop, the microhyphema would settle, and vision would return back to normal. So to answer the question, what is going on here? This is a ciliary body cleft. There was an exposed vessel at the iris root. Active bleeding on gonioscopy, and as you can see from the video, visible even without gonioscopy. When the cleft was open with the iris extracted from the cleft, the bleeding would actually result in collection within the cleft and without formation of a layered hyphema. With the iris incarcerated into the cleft, we would see cessation of bleeding. The intervention for this patient was cataract surgery with ab interno repair of the cleft. The patient did quite well postoperatively and continues to see me with 20-20 vision and no recurrence of the bleeding since the time of repair. I found this to be a unique case. I have not seen a case like this since then and certainly did not see a case like this before this patient presented to me. And I'm wondering if any of you have had a chance to see a case like this and can share your thoughts. Consider visiting keogt.com for further educational material. You can see this video and other educational videos at the YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram channels listed on this slide. Thank you very much.